So the F-35 cockpit that we see here today is an exact replica of what is flying today. It is very clean and does not have a lot of switches, dials, and knobs like our older F-16s have, like what I flew and what the Danish Air Force fly. So here we have what looks like a lot, lot like two iPads. So they're fully touch screens, so as I touch the screens, I can bring up different displays. I can make them even larger, so I turn them into a five by seven inch display, or I can make them even larger, a seven inch by 10 inch display. I have so much information now on these two iPads that I have to be able to use my, my fingers with gloves for safety. So with that, we really have lasers around here that follow my, uh, wherever my finger is. To do the targeting part, we actually use our hands on the stick and throttle, much like what we do on the F-16. So we'll put our cursor over on top of a target, we'll designate using this switch here, and then up on the front, which was really going to be projected in the pilot's visor because we no longer have a heads-up display similar to what the F-16 has. So this display that you're looking at out front is actually on the visor and it will give me all the targeting information of where that target is and what the solution is. That projection is also good, very good at nighttime because we use six cameras on the infrared spectrum to present a 30 by 40 degree field of view. It literally turns nighttime into day. Voice recognition as it is currently uh, mecked in the airplane will allow us to do simple commands. It will allow us to change radio frequencies. It will allow us to change different navigation points. It, it's similar to, to Siri. I won't say it's exactly like it as what we have to do is since we're talking and we're doing lots of things, we want to make sure that it understands exactly what we want. So I have to enable it and then I see exactly what I, I talked and then if I want to accept it, then I will. So it's a little bit more than Siri, but the concept is very similar. We've done this voice recognition for all the different pilots of, around the world that are going to be f flying the F-35 so that they will be able to recognize, say, your Danish voice from mine of, of an English voice. So software is much like your, your iPhone. We just got a new iOS 8.2 that came in. You take it and you update it. That's the same concept we have with the F-35. So as a new software rolls out, maintenance will then be able to go to the airplane, be able to upload that new software, and then the pilots, the next time they come out and fly, will be able to have that updated software. They say it's the easiest airplane they have ever flown. That's coming from test pilots and other, air, air, other pilots who have flown other airplanes from across all the services and say that this airplane is remarkably easy to fly. The amount of information you see in those two iPads is incredible. So that along with the fusion now of being able to bring all those sensors into one display and be able to show it to you make the ease of flying this so much better for the pilot.